Welcome back, Summit County. My name's Andy. You're watching Summit Sunrise Live. And we are still hanging out in Breckenridge. We were talking to Bill earlier from the Breck Tourism Office. He was going over some of the details of parking and road closures related to the bike race coming up tomorrow. But now we're going to kind of talk about more so like the schedule of events and what's actually going on. So this is Jen here. Thank you for stopping by this morning. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. And like I get the fun stuff, right? Yeah. So we have a huge day on Friday. Um, things are going to really kick off in town around 10. Um, for those parents out there with little kids ages 2 to 5, we've got the Strider Challenge that's put on by Breck Grand Vacations. If you're interested in participating in that, you should show up right in front of CB Potts around 9 a.m. with your child and a Strider and a big smile. And we've got goodie bags for them. It's going to be really fun. Then the women start the sign-in for the race. So that's a good spectacle if you want to see some pro riders. They'll start that at 1030, and then they will... They will head off on their race starting at 11. Um, that race will end up around 12.30. Then we'll have an awards ceremony, which will be over on the Riverwalk Lawn on the awards stage. Um, fall, then we'll have a little bit of break. And during that time, we've got lots of stuff going on. Starting at 10, we open the Festival Village. So we've got a whole bunch of vendors, a lot of cycling vendors and local vendors that will be sharing their wares and doing demos up there. We've got a kid zone up there. And we also have performance from Polyglot, which is one of part of the Breckenridge International Arts Festival. And there are these giant ants in costumes. So they'll be um, be entertaining people here on the Riverwalk Lawn throughout the day. Then at 2 o'clock, we have the men's race. So they'll sign in. There'll be, of course, a color guard and national anthem. The same thing will occur before the women's race. And the men will take off at 2. And they'll be racing 10 circuits on the iconic Moonstone route. They'll be making, making 10 wraps, routes or laps through town. <laughs> Over and over again, about every 20 minutes. That race will end up around 4.45. Um, we'll have an award ceremony once again on the Riverwalk Lawn. And then right after that, we'll have DJ Feather, followed by Ned Garth Explosion. And finally, Itchio, which is a 35-piece marching band. So this is all, that stuff's all brought to you in cooperation with Breck Create. And we'll, they'll also, you know, all the stuff they'll be kicking off. It's their first day of the International Arts Festival. So they'll be there. Those exhibits will be all, all around town as well. It is going to be an incredible day. And I know that it rained all last Last night so that we could get it out of our system for Friday and that's true we were looking at the weather earlier and I think it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow for the race so it should be great yeah we're hoping the hair has town has a really good hair day tomorrow and we all look good and we're gonna be on national television and international television broadcast in 113 com countries you know a lot of people say why do we do this race and this is really about our brand as a as a biking destination it's about exposing people around the world to what a beautiful place Summit County is so that they can choose it for their next vacation Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for that. I am so excited to see what's going on tomorrow. Uh, lots of fun events going on throughout the day. So definitely we had um, earlier we were talking about the road closures and everything that was going on. Um, just kind of a reminder for that. What was that website again so people could actually see the schedule as yep. well and kind of have a uh, reminder of what time all of these events are starting because I know there's a lot happening so people might want to refresh their memory on all that. There's going to be a couple ways for people so one we've got a, um, a whole program guide in the Summit Daily so pick up the paper tomorrow you've got all the information there's a great article in there about Taylor Sheldon one of our local riders who actually grew up on Moonstone um, as well as schedules of event plus you can go to breckprocycling.com and find all the information about road closures bus schedules um, where to park, where to watch, and how to have Schedule a great day. Events. Yeah. yeah perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for stopping by this morning. It was a pleasure chatting with you about all that. I'm definitely looking forward to being out here in the midst of all the activities for tomorrow. And then stay tuned, guys. We do have our watch and win still happening. That's going to be a $25 gift certificate to Dylan Dam Brewery. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be doing that giveaway here in just a little bit.